I'm Phil Boyer, retired president of the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association, better known to you as AOPA. I served two decades in that job, and prior to that, I was a general aviation pilot living in the New York area. At the one time, I owned a Beach Baron, another time, a Cessna 340. Both were equipped with radar, onboard radar, and de-ice boots. At AOPA, we had de-ice boots and a light jet turbine engines feeding bleed air on the leading edge surfaces. So upon retirement, I needed a plane for my personal travel. I decided on an A36 Bonanza, but not just anyone. This one was equipped with TKS and turbo normalizing meaning I had ice protection and I had ability to go into the flight levels with the plane. Now, I've been flying about 150 hours a year in all sorts of weather throughout the United States. And I must say, radar, I don't miss at all because we have satellite weather, we have ADSB, and we have an air traffic system that pretty much keeps us out of anything that's even yellow uh, or purple. But as far as icing is concerned, there really are a few tools out there, but other pilot reports, there isn't much way to know whether or not you're gonna get icing. So I love the TKS system. It has been my insurance policy, not to fly for hour upon hour in icing conditions, but to get through the cloud deck on top or to come back down under. Good example. I have a son that lived in New Orleans, and we were leaving Ohio in the Bonanza, got on top at about 14,000 feet, and then needed to descend into the Louisiana area, but there were clouds and a cold front had gone through, so the conditions were ripe for icing. I turned on the TKS, by the way, turn it on in advance of when you need it, so it covers the leading edge surfaces and the wings, and descended through the clouds. I probably shed a fair amount of ice because of the system, but it was clean when I got into clear weather and landed. Upon landing, the line boy ran up to the airplane and said, man, you really must have been in some ice. I said, what do you mean? I'm looking at the, the wing and it's fine. And he was noting that the tip tank, an aftermarket tip tank, had about two inches of ice on it that I picked up because, of course, that isn't a leading edge surface and doesn't really need de-icing. The system is simple to operate and maintain. Flip on the switch, note how much fluid you have, and you're underway. To maintain, keep the leading edge clean, the pores of those little tiny metal pieces, um, about once a month. And that's it. So TKS is a great insurance policy. It has been for me for all the flights I've made in these 11 years since retirement. TKS may not be for everyone. If you don't fly very heavily, if you don't fly in weather much, or you live in California or Florida, for instance, there's what's called Florida airplanes, and they are ones that have no de-icing equipment. But if you are like me and want to use your plane year-round and really climb through or descend through uh, cloud banks that may have freezing temperatures, TKS is the system for your plane.